a piece. And, and by the way, that well that that started to rebuild in the last you know since the financial crisis. A lot of people bought homes, recapitalized, and they built wealth uh, in their homes. But the piece that a lot of people are missing out on is they're missing out on participating in the growth. You know, that's the Tom Piketty thing, which is that you know wages have not compounded at the same rate as assets. You know, asset compounding has has vastly so if, if you're someone who has assets that you you can you have beyond what you need for your daily needs and you can invest capital, you can build wealth. We need to give that to every American. And you know, compounding is this very powerful thing. So my you know, the New York Times uh, did a piece on like favorite ideas to help solve problems. My idea was you give every baby that's born in America, you know, whatever, like a seven thousand dollar account. I just sort of making up a number of sixty five hundred. Uh, when they're born and they can't remove money from that account and it's tax exempt and it compounds and it gets invested in like an index fund that earns, you know, historic rates of returns in markets. By the time you're 65, it's, it's a million dollars, but it gives someone a minimum stake in the success of the country of capitalism. It makes them a, an owner, right? By the way, that would cost 20 billion a year to do that. I was, I think the math that we, which is, seems like a tiny little number. Today, just take the number of babies times whatever seven or eight thousand dollars. It's like a nothing thing, but I think would it, it would start to give everyone in this country uh, a piece of the success of the country. So I think we need these sort of savings accounts, uh, and we can't wait until people start creating an IRA when they're or four hundred one k by the time they're you know twenty five or thirty or thirty five. You want to start when they're a baby, just because the laws of compounding that extra twenty five years is is very very material. So I think. That's a key, uh, a key device to help address uh, the problem. And I, I think we need smart tax policy. Um, and there are lots of things we can do. Uh, what is smart tax policy, Bill? So there are a lot of things that make no sense to me. So for example, if you own real estate or certain other kinds of assets, you can do what are called like-kind exchanges, where you can sell and sell an asset, i.e., at, or I mean, and you pay taxes, or you can exchange it for another asset right? And you don't pay any taxes. It's a total joke. <laughs> it's like a gimmick. It's a complete giveaway to people in real estate. There's so many, uh, if you're a dedicated real estate investor, you can pass through like Mr. Trump, President Trump, you can pass through the depreciation on those real estate assets and offset your other income, which is why Donald Trump didn't pay taxes pretty much his entire life. For things like